Well, hi. Uh, how are you feeling? End of the first day of what is genuine lockdown. I've been told today that our churches have to close. And I don't just mean no services and no activities. I mean, literally, they need to be locked uh, beyond, above and, be above and beyond the government advice from yesterday. I think the Church of England is expecting it to get worse. Uh, and so they've just taken a decision that we are, except for food bank access, uh, and if you do need things, we can still contact the office and still email us and we can get in touch uh, with necessary people and we can get food to people. We've just got the volunteers to do that. But the church itself is now locked and shut. Can't even go in for private prayer for the time being, for the next three weeks anyway. But that doesn't mean God isn't at work. It doesn't mean we are isolated on our own entirely. Uh, I hope and pray that you've been using the cell groups, that you've seen that they are for blessing others uh, and even if we don't need help that we can still phone somebody uh, who perhaps we don't know and give them a word of encouragement or just listen to them as they talk. Uh, I know some people are finding it uh, a little bit uh, awkward uh, reading someone they don't know, some people are a bit scared but it's stepping out of our comfort zone, it's learning how to be church in a different way because church is not the building, the building is locked, it doesn't matter, we carry on as God's people gathered remotely and hopefully through Zoom uh, and YouTube, we can do this, keep uh, meeting together in different uh, ways spiritually. Uh, I'll be leading morning prayer tomorrow, 9.30, uh, so do join us for that. If you, if you enjoy uh, engaging with God through the liturgy and through God's word, and on Sunday we will still have a service at 10 o'clock, uh, and I hope to get some groups going uh, this week, discussion groups, uh, some thinking about Christianity groups, uh, and looking at different passages of the Bible and watching videos together and engaging with God. I don't know what it is about disasters though, it certainly brings out the best of British humour and while it's not pleasant having to sit at home, uh, only to go to work or to go to the shops uh, to buy food or one bit of exercise, uh, I just remember uh, I spotted this meme a couple of days ago might share it to those who are complaining about the quarantine period and curfews just remember your grandparents were called to war you're being called to sit on the couch and what Netflix watch Netflix you can do this yeah well it made me smile at the time and uh, uh, it's not the only one uh, it's another, which I thought was quite amusing uh, this is my sense of humor for you Please forgive me if you don't find this funny, but there's a picture. Well, it made me smile. Uh, I hope it brought some smile there too. But so what? I mean, I've heard all kinds of things, people screaming, they want more lockdown. I've heard people wanting us to have less because it's affecting different areas and different uh, strengths. As far as aware, the northeast has been quite lightly hit compared to some of the more urban areas, particularly London. But we're doing this out of love for neighbour. We're doing this out of love for the NHS, for our staff, uh, NHS staff who have got a thankless task, but also in obedience to our authorities. And I was struck by our reading, Bible reading today. You might share that. Tuesday. First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayer, intercessions, and thanksgiving um, be made for all people, for kings, and for all who are in high position that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. Well, I wouldn't want to be the leader of the government at the moment. He's got, had to make an unbelievably hard choice. Uh, I guess many of us never thought we'd see army on the streets delivering necessary items to the NHS. Um, and while we're not a police state, and I don't think we'll ever become a police state, um, 
police in this country, police used by consent. And I, I, I pray and thank God that we have police like that uh, and ask that God will enable them to do their job with grace uh, and humility as they try and guide us to do what's best for this country and for the world. But it's right that we do pray for those in power, whether we agree with poli their politics or disagree with their politics, whether we agree with their decisions or disagree with their decisions. There's a sense in scripture when we're called to obey uh, the authorities and they're not calling us to disobey Christ. So it's not this isn't the case of them shutting the churches saying you must not go to church because you're banning Christianity. This is don't go to church because we want you to stop spreading this virus around. And that is a reasonable position to take, in my opinion. Uh, they're not telling us to not be Christians. They're not telling us not to pray or to worship or to gather remotely or online. And we continue to do that. And so it's right we pray for our leaders, for those working to bring uh, and find uh, a vaccine, those treating the sick, and for the leaders of the church who, well, again, I find it hard to agree with what we've been told to in saying to shut the church entirely, that we can't even stream from the church on Sunday, just the family. Uh, but that's what we've been told to do, so that is what we'll do. And we'll find a way to make the home look a bit more like a church, perhaps. Mm, not a church, but uh, just to make people know that we're gathered as church so because in the early church what where did they meet they met in people's homes and we can't even do that but we can meet in the 21st century online so i'm going to pray and give thanks to god and pray for our leaders and our scientists and our church leaders too father god we thank you for the person boris johnson who's been elected to lead this country right now as part of that government and pray for him that you give him grace no doubt he's probably quite terrified he's going against his nature to lock the country down like he is he's a so uh yeah once a liberal democracy and this is goes against the grain but we pray father for wisdom from scientists that they would do what is right to protect this country from uh, particularly the, the most vulnerable and elderly who will suffer the most and who will lose most lives if this virus gets out of hand. I pray for our NHS, for doctors and nurses, give them strength, particularly those in hospitals that are getting very busy. And for those that aren't overwhelmed yet, we pray that they would be uh, prepared. I pray for engineers building respirators that by your grace, they would manage to work out how to transform production lines to bring those necessary ventilators to fruition. And we pray for those church leaders, pray for our bishops, pray for church leaders who are don't have technical skills, pray for them as they wonder how on earth they reach the flock. And we know some of our brothers and sisters have no internet. And so we pray, Father, they would be spiritually nourished and encouraged as well. So we pray in Jesus' name, all these things. Amen. Well, thanks for engaging. If you've got questions, uh, drop us an email, uh, ring us, uh, send us a text message. Uh, details are on uh, our website and uh, on our Facebook page. You can contact us through them. God bless.